You know, sitting up here high above the woods and the river, suspended between the earth and the sky, gives me a wonderful view of nature unspoiled. Looking up the river, I can see storms headed my way about half an hour before they actually arrive on my doorstep, which gives me plenty of time to batten down the hatches. You'd think a weather watching post would be sufficient warning, but I have another one, the birds. About half an hour ago, there was a flurry of activity as birds of all colors, sizes and varieties. Okay, well, maybe not flamingos, but birds frantically flapped their way past my window and over the treetops, calling in a crescendo of voices. It reminded me of nothing more than when I was young and our mothers would swoop through the neighborhood calling to us to come home because the storm was on the way, or dinner, or maybe both. High-pitched trills, deep gurgles, and squeaks of every kind in between. The birds, I mean, not the mothers. Just like us, they're multicultural and multilingual, but all bent on one common theme, calling the family home. All that can be heard now is the sound of the rustling through the trees as the wind blows up the river and reverses the leaves. Yet another sign of a winter change. Ha! Just for a moment I could hear my mother's voice echoing through the neighborhood. Angela, time to come home. And do you remember what we'd yell into the darkness? Aw, oh, do I have to? Yep, the traditional reply ricocheting off the houses. And suddenly the darkening streets would fill with life as my friends and I scattered to the four corners, running home, pushed along by the wind and prodded in no small part by maternal guilt. The sailboats are seeking harbor now, crisp white sails cutting the gray water sky horizon with a knife sharp edge. Nothing submissive about that. In fact, the taut wind-filled sails attached to the tall upright masts look almost as though they could be giving God an irreverent finger. <laughs> Another day wavers on the cusp. Nothing to be heard now but the swishing of car tires, busily on their way to somewhere. Somehow in the last 24 hours, we've slipped into August, and the tree right below me? I like to think of it as an early adopter. It has a tinge of yellow and red through its leaves, and it's always the first to start the change to autumn colors. It's the first one to signal that colder months are on the way. One more way of realizing that nature is continuously warning us about what's coming next. The signs are all around us. And as night falls, I find myself reflecting on the fact that this is the end of the August long weekend. And in my mind, it signals the final, irresponsible days of summer. Time to begin preparing for the last quarter of this year. But for now, I'm just glad I'm home. <laughs>